So before this video begins, I just want to address a few things. I understand that there's going to be a mixed bag of reviews from Christians about me making a content video like this. This is very different than my traditional prophecy video or random teaching video. However, I want to just talk about a few things. Number one, uh, this is nothing's going to be financial advice. Number two, Tangem did not reach out to me or pay me to make this video. I made this as a result of me seeing a lot of Christians on the internet start talking about Tangem. God never really said anything to me about Tangem. Uh, I've always been a traditional wallet user, but I decided to make a video and I actually waited until I felt like God said, okay, now you can post this video. Here's the green light. So it's mostly educational. There is an affiliate link below, but um, at the end of the day, I am just a dude sharing his walk with Christ, sharing some things that might be helpful to others. And crypto is kind of why my channel blew up in the first place. So I do think that it is kind of fitting for me to review a new product. That being said, this is a new product. All different products have risks involved with them. So I would not say YOLO, go get all your money onto Tangem. I'm not saying anything like that, but I do hope that you find this video beneficial and insightful nonetheless. Here we go. So this right here is an envelope, obviously, but the contents of this envelope contain something incredibly innovative and new, especially in the world of cryptocurrency. I am referring to the Tangem hardware wallet. What on earth is a cryptocurrency hardware wallet and why do you need one? Well, it's very similar to a traditional wallet that you would keep in your pocket, but it contains something very different than what people think it does. If you have a traditional wallet with money in it, that's great. The money is in your possession and it's yours. But if your money is stored at a bank, there's some serious third party liability risk. They could deny you from your funds. If it's not yours, is it really yours? Now, similar to having cryptocurrency on an exchange, there's third party liability risk. So the best way to avoid that, the best practice, is to move your crypto off the exchange and onto the blockchain. And once you've officially done that, you've now moved your funds off of the traditional centralized HTTPS internet, and you've moved it onto Web 3.0 in the respective blockchain. Now it's called Web 3.0 not because it's the newest version of the internet. That's not the case. It has nothing to do with the chronological timeline development. In fact, Blockchain has been around since the late 1980s, early 1990s, and it's kind of just been dormant to the side, but in recent decade, it's found a lot more of its use case. It's called Web 3.0 because this term encapsulates this new paradigm shift or this idea of a different type of infrastructure that we can use, which highlights decentralization rather than centralization. So hooray for decentralization and power to the people. The thing is, in order to move your funds off of an exchange and onto any blockchain, you need an address to send it to and you need keys to access the funds on that address. And that is where your crypto wallets come into play. Now there's many different types of wallets and they're typically measured by this barometer of hot to cold. Hot means that it's connected to the internet, it's easier to make transactions from, it's much more accessible. Cold means that it's offline, it's disconnected, it's powered off, and it's literally just kept in storage. It's just a barometer of safety. Hot, less safe, cold, more safe. Now, I know that they call these wallets because it draws from this metaphor or a parallel to a traditional wallet that you keep in your pocket with something of value in it. However, I think a better way to conceptualize these is more like a keychain. And the reason being is that you know how you have keys that you carry around that give you access to your home or your apartment or your car or your locker. You've got a keychain with lots of different keys. Well, your crypto wallets, which I'm using the word keychain here, contains keys to all of your crypto. It contains keys to each respective blockchain. And most wallets often have like a master key or a backup key for the wallet itself. And that's called a seed phrase. And it's basically just 10 to 20 different words that if you were to ever lose your wallet, you can restore all of your private keys. So think of it in a term of keys that give you access to your crypto, not your keys, not your crypto. The problem with traditional crypto wallets is that these things can be really laborious and difficult to learn how to use. You have to write down 10 to 20 different words on two different pieces of paper in the correct order. You can't misspell anything. You need to store them in different locations in case something ever happens. And it's very daunting. It's not actually good for the cryptocurrency community because so many people become daunted by it and don't actually want to learn how to figure out how to participate. So Tangem decided, how do we reduce, simplify all the complexity and make owning your keys very easy and convenient? And that is what the Tangem crypto wallet is all about. And that's what I'm excited to explore in this video. I have the magical envelope right here. I'm about to open it. If you've already learned something new, smash, obliterate, and demolish that subscribe button. My name is Philip Paul, and let's get right into it. Hey, give me that, Zell. 
Give me that. And that was my dog, Zella. She makes celebrity appearances from time to time. If you haven't subscribed yet and you thought that she was cute, you should totally subscribe for more of her. Yes, I'm totally gonna leverage my dog to try and boost my channel. To start off this video, it makes the most sense for me to bring you straight to Tangem.com's website. And here's the reason why. Don't ever, okay, listen to me, never, ever, ever purchase a hardware wallet anywhere other than straight from the distributor. The reason being is that no matter how secure you might think a website is or the sellers that are on that website, you never actually know if they have compromised your product, if they have either stolen your seed phrase or tampered with your device so that in the future they could steal your crypto. However, when you buy it straight from the distributor, in this case, Tangem.com, you know that it's coming straight from them. And I do have a link to their website. It's an affiliate link below. After you watch this video in full, if you do want to purchase one from them, you can use that link to help me out. But that's where you start, and that's where we're gonna start this video. Like I said in just a moment, we are going to open up my fun envelope from Hong Kong containing my Tangem wallet. But first, let's take a look at some of the highlighted features on their website. The first one is that it doesn't carry the obnoxious shape, feel, and look of your traditional hardware wallets. I don't know if you've ever used these things, but they can be really finicky and annoying. You've got these little buttons they have to press one at a time and you have to click them both at the same time. It can actually discourage a ton of people from using a hardware wallet, and that's not good for the cryptocurrency industry. So what Tangem is doing is they're actually replacing your hardware wallet with something that literally fits into the credit card slot of your phone, just like a traditional banking card. All that you're gonna to need to manage your assets is an NFC enabled phone. That just stands for near field communication. It's the same stuff that you have when you go to tap to pay at a register. Most traditional or most new phones have that. Setup is very fast, only three minutes. Security, EAL6 plus. I mean, that's the kind of standards that NASA uses for their own security. The card is very durable, okay? To dust, water, temperatures, extreme temperatures, and there's no points of vulnerability, okay? There's no elements, batteries, cables, etc. Now, with all these bright lights, my eyes are starting to get strained. So I'm gonna put on my blue light glasses for the most incredible part of the Tangem wall. And no, it's not the fact that they have a 25 year replacement warranty, which is pretty outstanding. It's actually how they've innovated on the hardware wallet as a whole. They actually do not advise you to have a seed phrase. Remember that conversation about keys and how I said your wallet doesn't actually store your crypto, but it stores your keys. So it's more like a keychain, and each key gives you access to each blockchain. But then I also mentioned that your wallet has like a master key built into it so that if anything were to ever happen, you can recover all the other keys. Well, that master key is created with a seed phrase. It's not really a master key, but just for the sake of conceptualization, it makes sense. Your wallet has a seed phrase built into it that allows you to recover everything else. The problem is, is that you have to write down those 10 to 20 words, which can be annoying and you have to be very detail oriented in doing it. But if you were to ever lose that piece of paper or if it were to get stolen, or if your house were to burn down and you don't have a second one somewhere, you are at risk of losing all of your crypto entirely if you were to ever lose your wallet as well. So Tangem has pointed out here that there are some significant flaws, points of vulnerability with using a seed phrase and that's what they've innovated on. So this is how Tangem has innovated the backup. We advise digital asset holders, so you and me looking to store our crypto off of an exchange. We advise you against using the seed phrase for backup. Keeping the key to your assets on a sheet of paper is prone to multiple security risks. So that's what we just discussed. Tangem has developed a safer alternative. Now, in a second, we will talk about how you're giving up something for convenience. There are pros and cons here. When you activate the Tangem wallet, the chip in the card generates a random private key which never gets exposed. So instead of having those pieces of paper with a lot of words, you download the app, you tap the card into the app, and then it creates a code which nobody ever knows. Neither Tangem, nor you, nor me, nobody knows it. It's impossible to steal it, drop it on the ground, or be tricked out of your funds. Instead of using the seed phrase, those pieces of paper, you're gonna activate each card, and then you just store those cards in different locations, and those serve as your backup. So from here forward, just about everything gets done through the Tangem app on your phone. You wanna be sure to download the official Tangem app, and then once you're in it, it will walk you through the activation process for each card. It's as simple as tapping the cards up to your phone, similar to a tap to pay, and then that activates the private key within each of your cards. Once your cards are activated, you're obviously gonna store them in different locations as your backup, but you will need to keep one card handy or accessible in case you ever wanna make an interaction with the blockchain or a transaction, you have to tap the card to the phone to create the signature for the transaction.
So if you're an avid user of your Tangem app and cryptocurrency, you're going to be using that one card quite frequently to sign and approve transactions or interactions with the blockchain. Um, however, if you were to damage that card or break that card, it's good that you have, well, number one, the warranty that you can use to replace it. Or number two, it's good that you have your other cards that you can use for future signing of transactions. And let's say you're down to one card or two cards and you kind of like the idea of having three cards, you can always just order more cards. So that's the beauty of the backup. You have one to use and sign transactions and then you have others as backup in case something ever happens to it. But remember, nobody has your private keys, not Tangem, not you, not the app. So if you were to lose all three cards, well, there goes your crypto. So now it's time for the unboxing. And right off the bat, this is pretty fun, right? I'm a sucker for small things like this. That's enjoyable. <laughs> um, you pop it open and they give you instructions. It's as simple as get started by downloading the app. That's literally kind of all that you have to do. You pop out your cards. I did get the three card packet here and I'm gonna take a look at the cards. They do have a chip in them and even though the website says that these things are incredibly durable, tons of dexterity, when I hold this card in my hand, I don't like that. Just me personally, it's a little flimsy. That being said, I'm really not going to be physically using this card all that much. These are more so for storage, but uh, I would like this to be metal or something like that, but they do deliver a great product at a low price. And so if it was metal, it'd probably be more expensive. Um, given the fact that I'm probably not actually going to use this other than storing crypto, it's okay. You know, so card is very simple. It does have a chip in it and uh, they just give you instructions on the back to download the app uh, and then it has a code on it which i'm going to keep covered by my thumb so honestly that's kind of the unboxing and time for the app so downloading and setting up your tangent app is as simple as going to the app store and getting the official app once i went through the process it was super easy it was as simple as tapping each card and then holding each card for about 10 to 15 seconds and my wallet was set up like I said earlier, I have set up tons of wallets in the past. I've written down all the seed phrases. It's exhausting, but this, that was by far the quickest and easiest stress-free wallet setup that I've ever done in my life. And so I am really impressed. The app itself is very user-friendly. If you want to enable more assets to be used on your card, it's as simple as just toggling over, tapping whatever you want, clicking save changes. It asks you for a face ID. And then you literally just hold your card up, you know, you tap your card and it enables those assets on your card. Um, it's pretty user friendly. A few more important things to know about the Tangem app. The source code for the app is on GitHub, so it is publicly open to anyone to examine and that's extremely important as it allows for full transparency to ensure that there's no backdoors built into the wallet. It also ensures that Tangem wallet can function if their services were to ever go offline or be unavailable. Tangem does have a swapping option built into the app as well, and they use the one inch DEX, which is one of the biggest decentralized exchanges and has some of the lowest fees. They have just about every single coin that you can think of built into the app, and they allow for custom tokens as well. To give permissions to swap, all that you have to simply do is choose your pairs and then tap your card to confirm it. In just a moment, I will transition to the conclusion part of this video where I go through some highlights and negatives or potential negatives down the road. But first, I think that there's one key element that cannot be overlooked. What has made Tangem shine might be something that not everybody likes. Tangem has taken the problem of writing down your seed phrase on different pieces of paper and just removed the complexities behind it to make this very user-friendly and welcoming to everyone. And that's awesome. You don't have your private keys, nobody has your private keys, you store your cards in different locations, and that is your security and backup measures. But for some crypto enthusiasts, they might actually want to have their private keys. They are responsible, detail-oriented, and perhaps they want more than just one or two backups. Perhaps they want to make a few different backups. Additionally, when you have access to your own private keys, if anything were to ever happen to the parent company of the wallet that you purchased, you can still use your keys to access your crypto through any other wallet that supports that asset. So with Tangem, it is very user-friendly. It's very welcoming at getting people into self-custody. But there is a key phrase that you must remember in crypto, pardon the pun here, but not your keys, not your crypto. With Tangem, nobody knows the keys at all, but you simply hold the vault that has the keys within them. Whereas some other wallets that are out there, 
you set up the wallet, you have access to your private keys in case something were to happen to the parent company. You can always use a different company that supports the same asset and then you can upload your funds and regenerate them on that company. With Tangem, you're kind of just uh, limited to them. So some might say that there is a trade-off uh, for the win that Tangem provides. I'm kind of neutral on the matter. I'm the type of person who likes to diversify in several different ways, have different types of wallets. And for me, I think that this is just another method of storing crypto. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think that the user-friendly coming at the cost of nobody having a private key is worth it? Or do you think that it's better to just have your private keys and go through the hassle of setting up a traditional hardware wallet? I would like to know what you think in the comments below. So I wanna make a quick conclusion of some of the positives, but also maybe some potential negatives down the road. Yes, Tangem Wallet is incredibly easy to set up and use. It's the easiest wallet that I have ever used. And I think it's gonna be great for the crypto market, especially getting people engaged in storing their own cryptocurrency who have maybe been discouraged by the whole seed phrase process in the past. That's awesome. A couple negatives. I did share how maybe the card felt a little bit flimsier than I would like, but it's such a great value for the price ratio. The only concern that I would say is not a present concern, but we have seen things in the past with notable companies like Ledger, who promised to never record your seed phrase after a recent update said there's an opt-in option where they can store your seed phrase, and that kind of eliminates the privacy, the self-custody aspect to cryptocurrency. I love that Tangem says on their website that they will never know your private keys, nobody ever will. My hope and prayer is that in the long run, it stays like that. That when you set up a new card and your private key is private, nobody knows it, I hope that it continues to be like that. Because if they ever have an update where they say there's a backup option or we can record your private keys, that eliminates the entire point of self-custody and it deteriorates trust. Now that is not anywhere near on the horizon so far. They have very much put it out there that nobody knows your private keys. And that's awesome. I think that's another unique, awesome facet to this asset. That being said, um, overall, I am very pleased. Uh, it's a very affordable, amazing product. I love crypto. I think it's wise to have many different types of wallets. Diversification in many diverse ways is a good thing to do. So that's kind of the summary. You can check out the links below if you are now interested in purchasing one. Please subscribe to this video, like it, comment, share, all that amazing stuff. And we'll see you in the next one.